Hello there. So today I thought I would get ready with you. <laughs> so I'm going to um, just kind of get myself ready this morning. So I thought I would just share what my basic you know, look looks like in the morning when I'm getting ready, but um, I've already done my skincare and uh, my skincare of choice is the TimeWise Repair line. Um, that's my favorite. And um, I'm going to be using a lot of uh, um, other, you know, products like Serum C um, I've already used on my face as well, which is a um, like a skin kind of brightener and collagen um, stimulator, which is really nice too. So I kind of add that into my um, daily routine um, in the morning. And at nighttime, I use the um, Clinical Solutions Ferulic um, niacinamide brightener. So I absolutely love that. Uh, so anyway, I've kind of done my skincare. Um, of course, don't forget about your eye cream. So I did all that. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and jump in and show you what my next step is. And that is this foundation primer. Um, I love it because it's got SPF 15 in it. So in addition to my moisturizer, that has, um, you know, uh, sunscreen in it, then I get a little bit more protection with the foundation primer. Plus it helps me to, um, just make my foundation look a little smoother and softer and, um, makes it last longer too. So, and it just takes a little bit of that shine away, which is nice. It feels like silk on my face. So anyway, um, I'm glad that you're here. My name is Margaret. So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome. Um, make sure to uh, comment, let me know that you're here and uh, I'm excited to just kind of walk you through what I do. So, um, okay. So I did my foundation primer. Next up, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go up to my eye area and I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on my eyes. And this one's a perfecting concealer. I love it. Um, it's just, you know, as you can see, a little bit lighter than my um, skin tone. So that's always a good idea. And then I like to just kind of dab it with a sponge just to get it basically to mat out the eye palette, if you will. So just kind of tap it like that. And then I kind of let that sit for a minute and I go to my brows. So this is the lazy girl brow um, tip here. So um, normally if I'm taking more time, I would use my precision brow liner um, to actually like fill in my brows. But this one, I'm gonna use my volumizing brow tint. And so it's just a quick and easy way to kind of give your brows um, some shape, a little bit of color and it's really easy to apply. So I just kind of go up and over like that and then kind of fluff up the hairs a little bit too. And this color is blonde that I'm using, which I really like. It's a good, um, good color for my coloring anyway here. So yeah, I just kind of fluff it up, but yeah, it's great. Cause like it just sort of frames your face. You have just a little bit more color um, or shape rather to your brows. And then I just kind of go like that to shape them up a little bit. So quick and easy, right? Okay. So that's the brow tint. So that kind of just lets that, um, concealer sort of, you know, set on my skin. So now I'm going to just jump right to my eye color. Um, I'm going to dive in and use a color. I'm actually going to mix today. I'm going to use sunlit rose and dusty rose. So one is a shimmer, one's a matte. And they're pretty, this is my, my personal little palette here. So lots of fun colors in here. Um, but I'm going to use just a little bit and I'm actually going to just do a little right in the crease. And this is like my quick and fast look here, what I like to call a five minute face. <laughs> so it's more of a dash out the door look. You know what I mean? So today I am teaching Pilates for a few hours. I have lovely clients that I get to see every day that I'm so grateful for. So I get to train them next door in my Pilates studio. And then um, I have a hair appointment and I am way past due. Do you guys ever just like, ugh? When you get to that point where you're like, I need my hair done badly. So I'm going to freshen myself up, <laughs> get a little bit more blonde back in my hair. And um, I have a birthday coming up. So I wanted to make sure to get my hair done before my birthday. So doesn't that always feel good when you get your hair done before your birthday? Okay. Um, so I did a little blending there. I never get too worried about exactly how it looks because see, I haven't put foundation on yet. I'm doing my eyes first. So kind of a little, little tip for you. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and put on some of my 
liner here and just kind of tight line a little bit just underneath. I'm really going like right to the lash line is my goal. And again, this is just to kind of help give a little bit of contrast like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put on some mascara. So I usually do a coat or two, but we'll see here. I'm going to do the first coat with my Fanorama mascara, my latest favorite. I like it because it's really lightweight, but it really helps to kind of define the lashes. And then it's got this little fanned like tip on there. So you can kind of like fan out your lashes when you get your coat on there. So Go. I'm just going to do a round of my mascara and then I am going to get my foundation on and there's just blush and lips and then I'm ready to go ready for the day ready to see my clients and get my hair done cannot wait tomorrow is nail day so I'm going to get my nails done tomorrow <laughs> so don't we all like, what's your favorite thing about having a birthday coming <laughs> to me? It's like planning the experience. What's it going to be like leading up, getting your hair done, getting your nails done. Um, maybe getting a new outfit, picking the place for dinner. <laughs> what's your favorite like birthday ritual? I'd love to hear. Okay. So there we go. So I got a little bit of mascara on. So now I'm going to go ahead and dive into my foundation and give myself some foundation here before I kind of wrap up the rest of my look. Here we go. So I am going to use this matte wear foundation. This is a 3D. It's called foundation and I'm wearing Ivory N160. So this one happens to be my winter shade. <laughs> my summer shade is like BN150. I think it is in this foundation, but I love it because it just gives you a lightweight finish. Um, and the reason I did my eyes first is because sometimes you get a little bit of a fallout and it's nice to just kind of have the opportunity if you needed to clean up a little bit before your foundation, then you're not putting your foundation on doing your eyes and then having the fallout and then having to clean it all up. It's like double the amount. It took me a while though to get used to doing my eyes first because I was always, I don't know about you, were you like an eye, are you an eye eyes first and then foundation or foundation and then eyes. There we go. But what I like about doing the foundation too, is you can kind of do a little bit of up, up, uh, what is that sweep <laughs> and kind of give yourself a little eye lift too from your shadow. So that's why I don't really worry too much about where the shadow lands on my eyes. So let's grab a little cheek color here. So cheek brush. All right. So I'm going to dive in today. I'm going to use a little bit of shy blush, I think. And shy blush has a little bit of shimmer to it. I like it just a little bit, just to give me some coloring. One tip I heard the other day was to actually use, um, or actually apply your lipstick first. I think it was, I think it was lipstick first, just so you could kind of get a gauge as to like how bright you want the rest of your lips or your face to look or not as bright, <laughs> but I don't know. I haven't gotten used to doing that yet, but there we go. So there's just a little bit of cheek for some freshen up look there. And then let's see, what do I want to do last but not least? I'm going to do one, two things. Okay. My favorite under eye corrector. So just a little dab. And this is to, to kind of diffuse the purpley, <laughs> dark blue areas when you don't really look like you've gotten much sleep. This will help kind of make you look even more awake. See that? <laughs> it's amazing stuff. One of my favorite things to do, and I do that pretty much last. Um, I do like to do a little pop of um, color on the inner corner of the eye, if I remember. And that I'm going to use a little moonstone. And I'm going to do it. I do it after my under eye corrector just so I'm not taking any of that shimmer in this moonstone and drawing it down my face because then that shimmer is going to reflect kind of in the wrong place. We don't want it to reflect down here. So I do just a little bit of that at the end. And then let's get some lips. Where are my lips here? I'm going to do kind of a real nudie. Well, not so nude. I'm going to give myself a little color. 
just a little dab of that and a little bit of that just to kind of brighten up a little bit. There we go. So I'm pretty much ready. I may add if I have, you know, one more minute, I might add a little liquid liner to my um, eyelid. Maybe I'll go ahead and do that right now just because. Let's do it. Why not, right? Just to kind of finish it up. I just do short little strokes like that. You can kind of see how it changes up. It just kind of defines it just a little bit better. Since I have one more minute. Ooh, it's getting a little thick. But that's okay. That's all right. That side's a little bit thicker. But it just kind of gives you that little bit more color looking alive and awake and alert. So that is my look for today. So thank you for getting ready with me 